looking back on it, uh, when when a pilot at Gulfstream gets selected to be the project pilot to work from the from the ground up, he typically becomes the captain on the first flight. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> As you get closer to that, you realize that nobody knows more about the airplane because I've been involved in every aspect of the cockpit development, all the technologies and everything like that. So it kind of made sense. Before the first flight, what's going through my mind is what do we need to plan for in case things don't go according to our intent? During the actual flight, we're 100% in the moment was completely anticlimactic. We really didn't find any new surprises. The airplane did exactly what we thought it was gonna do. I remember at one point about an hour into the flight, I'm sitting here flying the airplane, focused on, on what I'm doing, and Kevin Claffey, you know, you're talking through an intercom, so there's a little bit of separation there. And he finally says, hey. And I, and I, and I said, what? I'm, lo I'm looking at the displays right out the window, he goes, no. He goes, hey. And I look over at him, he goes, this is pretty cool. And, you know, fist, fist bump and said, you know what, you're right. Compared to any other kind of flying I've done, I would say that is easily the most uh, vivid memory. If you're representing a large group of people that made this project their day-to-day -day life. The labs and simulation make the test program viable. For every hour of flight test we had, I think we had 30 hours in the labs. And if we didn't do that, we'd still be getting ready for first flight today.